Did you know that stress comes in three distinct types, each impacting our physical body in unique ways? Let's unravel this mystery together. First, we encounter physical stress. This includes trauma, accidents, injuries, or falls, the kind of stress that leaves a tangible mark on our bodies. Next, we face chemical stress. Think about the invisible threats in our environment. Toxins, pesticides, pollutants, viruses, bacteria, and even the aftermath of a wild night out or nutritional deficiencies. These elements silently disrupt our body's natural rhythm, but there's more. Emotional stress. This could stem from family tragedies, car accidents, financial worries, or the challenges of single parenting. Emotional stress is often the most relatable as it encompasses the worries and struggles we face in our daily lives. Here's the fascinating part. Despite these different forms of stress, physical, chemical, or emotional, our bodies possess an innate ability to seek balance. Our natural state is homeostasis, a harmonious regulation of internal conditions. Thanks to the autonomic nervous system, our bodies continuously strive to return to this state of order, even in the face of stress. So how do we support our body in this incredible self-regulating process? We could describe the autonomic nervous system as the body's personal balancer. Its primary role is to maintain equilibrium, regulation, and homeostasis, all without conscious effort from us. This automatic system operates under the radar of our thinking neocortex in a part of the brain often referred to as the chemical, emotional, limbic, or mammalian brain. This area of the brain is responsible for a myriad of critical functions. It ensures that our blood sugar levels remain stable, our hormones are balanced, and our digestive enzymes are in check. Constantly at work, this part of the brain tirelessly repairs and regenerates our body always steering us back towards balance in the face of various stressors. Picture this, every time stress knocks our brain and body off balance, our innate stress response kicks in to restore equilibrium. But here's the catch, if we're continually thrown off balance, repeatedly shifting away from homeostasis, this state of imbalance gradually becomes our new normal. And that's where the risk of disease creeps in. Our autonomic system, designed to maintain order automatically, struggles to cope leading to a breakdown in the system. Let's break it down further. In cases of physical trauma, the body can heal itself with rest. For chemical imbalances, we often turn to pharmaceuticals or nutraceuticals, vitamins, minerals, herbs, and practices like intermittent fasting to help the body regenerate using its energy for growth and repair. However, the most significant and often overlooked factor is emotional stress. This type of stress can be the hardest to manage and the most damaging to our internal balancing act. It's not just about physical healing or balancing chemicals. It's about addressing the emotional upheavals that constantly challenge our body's ability to maintain a healthy state. Recognizing and managing emotional stress is crucial for our overall well-being and maintaining the delicate balance our bodies strive for. Did you know that a staggering 75 to 90% of individuals who walk into a healthcare facility in the Western world do so because of psychological or emotional stress? That's right. Four out of five people are there not solely because of physical ailments, but because they are grappling with emotional imbalances. So what's really driving these health conditions? It's the profound impact of emotional stress. Uh, we're talking about a range of intense emotions that directly connect to our stress hormones. Think about feelings like anger, hatred, frustration, competitiveness, the need for control, judgment, envy, jealousy, insecurity, fear, anxiety, worry, hopelessness, powerlessness, guilt, shame, and unworthiness. Interestingly, these emotional states, often deemed normal in psychological terms, are actually altered states of consciousness. They shift our mental and emotional equilibrium, influencing our physical health in profound ways. As a fitness coach, I see daily how crucial it is to address these emotional aspects for holistic health and wellness. It's not just about treating the body, it's about understanding and balancing our emotional landscape for complete healing and well-being. Have you ever realized that our reaction to something or someone in our environment, or even a thought about a potential future event or a memory from the past, can trigger a chemical reaction in our brain? These chemicals signal to our body as if it's actually living in a state of fear or danger. It's fascinating. Here's how it works. When you visualize a thought or recall a memory, it's not just the image in your mind that's at play. It's the combination of the image and the emotion, the thought and the feeling, the stimulus and the response. This blend 
is what immediately conditions your body into a state of imbalance. And now here's a scientific truth that's incredibly powerful. The long-term effects of stress hormones can activate certain genes that lead to disease. If merely thinking about something stressful can trigger this stress response, it means your thoughts have a direct impact on your health. This is a prime example of the mind-body connection. Your thoughts can make you sick, literally. Understanding this connection is crucial for our overall well-being. It highlights the importance of managing our thoughts and emotions to maintain not just mental health, but physical health as well. Here's a thought-provoking question. If our thoughts can make us sick, could they also have the power to heal us? The answer opens up a world of possibility. To harness this power, we must become masters of our own attention and energy. Where we focus our attention is precisely where our energy flows. The challenge lies in overriding those ingrained thoughts that have conditioned our bodies to be out of sync, to mistake our subconscious for our conscious mind. Our bodies are incredibly objective. They don't differentiate between an actual experience causing an emotion and one we create through thought alone. To our bodies, the two are indistinguishable. So when we're caught up in negative thoughts, our body believes it's under real threat, like being chased by a predator or needing to defend itself. It constantly stays on high alert, perpetually out of homeostasis, always in a state of emergency or fight or flight response. The key to harnessing our thoughts for healing is to consciously direct our focus towards positivity, balance, and well-being. By doing so, we can shift our body from a state of constant alert to one of equilibrium and health. This is the essence of the mind-body connection and the incredible power of our thoughts. Let's dive into a fascinating aspect of our nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. It's like the accelerator in a car, revving up immense energy in response to a threat, whether it's real or just perceived. This reaction, a combination of thought, feeling, image, and emotion, trains the body to automatically embody the emotion connected to that thought. It's a powerful conditioning that can lead to an addiction of sorts. Here's where it gets tricky. People can become addicted to their own thoughts, even to a life they don't enjoy, because the response to various triggers, be it a coworker, boss, or an ex provides a rush of energy, a burst of adrenaline. They start associating this energy rush with problems or conditions in their life. When it comes time to change, to manage your attention and emotions, it's akin to breaking any addiction. The body craves what it's used to. It yearns to return to the familiar, the known past. It's a battle between the body and the mind, with the body resisting change, arguing that it's too hard, too uncomfortable, and tempting the mind to revert to old choices, to create the same experiences and emotions. This is the loop that keeps people tied to their existing identity, making it challenging to break free and embrace change. We tend to accept and believe only the thoughts that match our current emotions. For example, if you're feeling resentful or angry, positive affirmations won't stick because they don't align with your emotional state. Imagine someone who's stuck in negative emotions due to a past event. Every time they recall that event, their brain and body relive it as if it's happening now, reinforcing those negative feelings. This cycle makes it hard for them to break free and embrace positive thoughts. The body can become conditioned to past emotions like resentment, affecting how we perceive and react to life. This creates a self-fulfilling cycle of negativity. Recognizing this as an addiction, it's crucial to change. This means actively working to replace harmful emotions with beneficial ones. For example, swapping feelings of resentment with gratitude involves retraining your body and mind, a process that might take time but is essential for bringing your body back to a state of balance. This includes practices like mindful breathing to help relax the body and open it up to new positive emotions. The effort put into this transformation, even if it takes weeks, is absolutely worth it for your overall well-being. Here's a powerful truth. Practicing gratitude can transform your health. Just 15 minutes a day of feeling grateful can lead to remarkable changes. Our studies show that this practice can boost immunoablin air, your body's natural defense against flu by 50% in just four days, all from within, without any external supplements. This is gratitude's chemistry at work. Feeling grateful activates your body's healing processes, aligning your thoughts and emotions with this positive state. As you consistently cultivate gratitude, you're programming your nervous system to produce chemicals that promote growth and repair. This understanding makes the process of change more meaningful and effective. When you engage your prefrontal cortex with this strong intention, 
You're not just messing around, you're aiming for a real outcome. And as you change your state of being daily through gratitude, prepare for a cascade of synchronicities and coincidences. They're signs that you're not just a bystander in life, but it's creator. Embrace this journey and watch as your life aligns with these positive changes. Remember, every day is a chance to flex your gratitude and glow with positivity.